hi everyone welcome back to the channel a twist of gem today i will show you what i made for sunday dinner vegetable soup and a crusty bread this is a great soup with lots of vegetables and egg noodles the broth is flavorful and the fresh herbs add another level i normally add tomato sauce to my soups but i didn't this time you can add chicken or little meatballs if you want to add some meat to this. I'll show you how I make my vegetable soup. Let's get started. For this recipe, you will need all-purpose seasoning, basil, salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, sunflower oil, one and one half boxes of vegetable broth, five carrots, four celery stalks, half a bag of frozen corn, half a bag of frozen peas, three potatoes, a small onion, five garlic cloves, rosemary, thyme, and sage, about a cup of egg noodles, and two and a half cups of water. Chop up the onion and garlic. Then dice the potatoes and put them in a bowl and cover with water so they don't turn brown. Cut up the carrots and celery. Turn the flame on for a large pot. Add the sunflower oil. Then add the onion and garlic and cook for a few minutes. Add the celery and stir. Add the carrots and stir. Add half of the dry seasonings and stir. Add the potatoes and the remainder of the seasonings. Stir everything well and cook for about 10 minutes. Stir frequently to make sure the vegetables aren't sticking to the bottom of the pot. Add the vegetable broth. Then add the fresh herbs.
Add the water. Once you have added the broth and the water, you want to taste the soup to see if it needs any more seasonings. Soup is one of those dishes you need to keep tasting as it cooks to see if it needs more water, broth, or seasonings and herbs. Adjust the soup to what you think it needs. Add the frozen corn and the frozen peas. Test the doneness of the potatoes and the carrots. If they can be cut in half easily, that's what you are looking for. Now add the egg noodles. Instead of egg noodles, you could use rice or any kind of pasta. Just be sure that you don't use too much rice or too much pasta. When I first started cooking soup many years ago, I made the mistake of adding too much pasta and the pasta soaked up all the broth. I was so mad. But that's the great thing about cooking, you learn from experience. Here's the crusty bread I made to go with the soup. The bread came out really good. I will have to do a video for it. Once the pasta is tender, the soup is ready. The potatoes add a heartiness to the soup and the broth is clean but flavorful. What kind of soup do you like and what do you have with it on the side? Drop a comment and let me know. Until the next time, keep cooking and learning. Peace from a twist of gem. Here's some fun facts about soup. Did you guys know January is National Soup Month? I'm just literally finding this out like right now. I don't know, I guess my spidey senses were up. The most expensive bowl of soup cost $190 and is featured on the menu at Kai Mayfair Restaurant in London. The soup is called Buddha Jumps Over the Wall and contains shark's fin, abalone, Japanese flower mushroom, sea cucumber, dried scallops, chicken, ham, pork, and ginseng. Due to its unique nature, 
the dish has to be pre-ordered five days in advance. The world record for the largest bowl of soup da -da 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 -da, goes to the Netherlands. They prepared a 26,658 liters bowl of vegetable soup. Wow. Palm nut soup is a West African soup made with either palm fruit or palm pulp and meat, fish, crayfish, vegetables, and seasonings, but ingredients vary depending on the country or region. The soup can be found in Ghana, Cameroon, Nigeria, and Ivory Coast, and each country has a different name for it. Jamaican fish tea is a light soup or a fish broth seasoned with salt, pepper, and thyme. Unlike other Jamaican soups that are usually hearty and thick, it features small, inexpensive fish such as herring and vegetables such as bell peppers, carrots, onions, and green bananas. 